Hello, beautiful people. I'm Dr. Mamina, and today we are talking about something that shows up on every face, wrinkles. For too long, we've seen them only as flaws or as signs of getting older, but wrinkles are more than lines. They're signals. They tell a story about your health, your lifestyle, and even your longevity. So today, we're not just looking at how to smooth them, but how to understand what they mean and what you can do about them. As a triple board certified dermatologist, internist, and dermatopathologist, I've spent years studying what happens inside our bodies and how that shows up on our skin. So your skin isn't just a surface, it's a living record of sun exposure, stress, sleep, diet, genetics, and even your joy level. When we talk about wrinkles, we're really talking about skin health and your overall well being intrinsic versus extrinsic aging. So at its core, skin aging happens in two ways. There's intrinsic intrinsic aging, which is the natural slowing of cell function over time. A lot of this is based on genetics and the natural biological signals that are sent to all of our cells as we continue to age. Then there's extrinsic aging, and this is driven by external stressors such as UV light, pollution, smoking, poor sleep, unhealthy diet, stress, all of these contribute to 80% of visible skin aging. Intrinsic changes happen to everyone, they're harder to control, but extrinsic aging is where we have the most control and the greatest opportunity to protect and rejuvenate our skin. Collagen and elastin breakdown. So collagen and elastin, the proteins that give our skin structure and bounce, they begin to break down as we age and when exposed to these various environmental stressors. So enzymes like MMPs or matrix metalloproteinase they accelerate this breakdown, leaving your skin less firm, less resilient, and more prone to deeper lines. Free radicals or reactive oxygen species, ROS, the sparks that fuel aging. So one of the biggest accelerators of skin aging is oxidative stress. And these are caused by free radicals, also called reactive oxygen species or ROS. And these unstable molecules damage collagen, DNA, and cell structures acting like sparks that ignite a slow burning fire under your skin. Sources of reactive oxygen species. So there's UV radiation. Sunlight we know is one of the largest sources of reactive oxygen species, damaging skin structure and repair systems and driving photo aging. Then there's air pollution. Environmental pollutants such as ozone and particulate matter can penetrate our skin and induce oxidative stress, accelerating aging and pigment issues. And there's a study linked to that. Smoking and vaping. So we know that this is terrible for you. These habits flood your skin with oxidants. They constrict your blood vessels. They deplete antioxidant defenses like vitamin C. They upregulate MMPs and accelerate collagen degradation. We have so many studies showing how smoking can accelerate aging. And we are having more studies showing the effects of vaping on aging. Poor diet and AGEs. So high sugar and processed food consumption leads to AGEs or advanced glycation end products. AGEs can stiffen collagen and generate reactive oxygen species, perpetuating inflammation and aging. Yeah, because when sugar binds to protein molecules like collagen, it creates a reaction where the collagen stiffens and it doesn't function as well, it can break down more easily, and that's where you get more sagging and wrinkles. Sugar and aging don't really go hand in hand. Then there's stress. So chronic psychological stress raises cortisol, increasing reactive oxygen species production, and weakening antioxidant defenses, speeding up skin aging. We also know that increased stress can increase other inflammatory markers, which can also lead to more collagen breakdown. Sleep deprivation. So we know that sleep is a critical time for antioxidant reset and DNA repair. Without it, ROS accumulate and accelerate aging. There's a reason why it's called beauty sleep. Normal metabolism and mitochondria. So our body's energy production naturally releases ROS, over time, especially under stress or age, this can tip the balance toward damage. And when left unchecked, reactive oxygen species activate MMPs, deplete hyaluronic acid, and leave skin less elastic, more dull, and deeply lined. So fortunately with antioxidants, smart lifestyle choices, we can dial down that oxidative damage. Senescent cells, AKA zombie cells. So another overlooked contributor is senescent cells. These are cells that stop dividing yet remain metabolically active, releasing inflammatory signals that degrade collagen and elastin. They're just kind of taking up space and resources from our body. These zombie cells fuel chronic skin aging from within. The big takeaway. So while some aspects of skin aging are natural, many are definitely preventable and even reversible. So you're not a passive observer in your skin story. You can actively change its trajectory. Lifestyle, your foundation. So here's what truly builds skin longevity, nutrition, 
Having a colorful antioxidant rich diet, things with vitamin C, vitamin E, omega 3s, polyphenols, these can all support your skin health and can counter oxidative stress. Sleep. This is essential for repair and DNA health, like I mentioned earlier. Lack of it can deepen wrinkles and halt rejuvenation. Exercise. Resistance training improves blood flow, it can reduce inflammation, and it could support the connective tissue underlying your skin. Another big marker of longevity is muscle mass. And muscle is actually an organ. It can do a lot. It can help a lot with blood flow, with metabolizing sugar. So maintaining that muscle is so important. Stress management. So lowering your cortisol can protect collagen, elastin, and hyaluronic acid from breaking down. Pollution and smoking avoidance. Just these two are two of the most harmful extrinsic accelerators of aging. I know it's tough if you live in a big city, but I would recommend, and I talked about this in a different video, but I would recommend, you know, having really good air filters in your home and having opportunities to go in nature or like getting away from the city. Hydration. So a well hydrated body means a better functioning body, better functioning cells and potentially well hydrated cells. And that makes the cells and the skin more resilient. And these aren't like little minor details. They are building blocks of skin longevity. I know it's annoying because they seem like such simple pieces of advice and probably things that you've heard multiple times. I've talked about it multiple times in many videos, but these can all make a big difference. Face age and systemic aging. So here's a powerful insight. Multiple studies show that how old your face appears can actually reflect your body's biological aging. In one large study, those whose face looked older than their actual age showed signs of accelerated biological aging and even higher mortality risk. So AI tools like face age can estimate biological age from a photo. Higher face age scores do correlate with shorter survival in cancer patients. So in short, wrinkles are more than skin deep. They can be visible cues to internal aging and health. All right, next, let's talk about topical treatments that you can use to defend your skin and build more collagen. Topical treatments, daily defense and rebuild. So let's talk about topical treatments that have been shown to defend your skin as well as build collagen. Your everyday skincare toolbox should include retinoids. We know that retinoids are proven to build collagen production. They can also increase or speed up cell turnover. So it can help kind of even out uneven or dull skin tone. Antioxidants, things like vitamin C with vitamin E, ferulic acid, resveratrol. I would say vitamin C is probably the most popular topical ingredient antioxidant out there, but these can help shield against UV and pollution induced reactive oxygen species free radical formation. Vitamin C has also been shown to help increase collagen production, so double whammy. Peptides. There are a lot of peptides out there. Some can signal to increase hydration in the skin. Some can signal to help with hair regrowth. There are some great peptides out there that have been shown to help signal collagen and elastin to increase production. Hyaluronic acid. So this doesn't necessarily build collagen. It just like rehydrates your skin so it can make your skin look more plump and smooth. I find that hyaluronic acid, I'm, I'm talking about it because it's such a popular ingredient and so many people think that it's a holy grail. I don't think it's a holy grail, but it's definitely a nice ingredient to incorporate, like I said, to increase that plump, dewy, hydrated look because when your skin's less hydrated, your wrinkles are gonna show more. AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid or lactic acid. These exfoliate, stimulate cell renewal, and also work deeper on the collagen level to help rebuild collagen. I see this more so with glycolic acid. Growth factors. So growth factors can encourage cellular repair and regeneration. Not all growth factors are created equal, so just pay attention to that. <laughs> DNA repair enzymes, these can correct DNA damage at the cellular level. I think it's wonderful if you can find a sunscreen that also has DNA repair enzymes in it. Professional procedures, deeper interventions, when you need more than daily defense. So let's talk about procedures that can increase collagen production. First, there are chemical peels. Not only will these resurface the skin to help even out skin tone, even out pigmentation, but the different chemicals can work deeper on the collagen level to help with collagen remodeling and building. Microneedling, I love this one because most skin types can handle it. This can trigger repair and collagen production and it uses mechanical stimulation of little microscopic needles puncturing the skin. Then there's laser treatments. So you can remodel and refine deeper structures. Of course, there's so many different lasers out there, but there's different wavelengths that target different depths of your skin in terms of what exactly you wanna target. If you wanna resurface the surface of your skin, or if you wanna work deeper or heat the collagen to help remodel collagen. All of these procedures are basically like sending signals or almost causing like not damage, but 
but almost like a wound in your skin to trigger a healing mechanism and that forces your collagen to remodel. Radio frequency and ultrasound. So these technologies can tighten and lift using energy-based stimulation. There's also microneedling with radio frequency. So you can get both that effective microneedling as well as the radio frequency waves penetrating deeper into the collagen to tighten the skin. So we know Botox can smooth out your skin. It's not actually building collagen, so don't mind that. It's, it's, it's literally paralyzing muscle or decreasing muscle contraction so that you're not creating as deep of a wrinkle. But hyaluronic acid fillers and definitely biostimulators like Sculptra, these can of course restore volume, but also stimulate your body's own ability to produce more collagen. And then there's also procedures that, that aren't approved yet in the US like the salmon sperm facial PDRN injections, where these have also been shown to increase hydration and collagen production in the skin. Final thoughts. So skin longevity really isn't about chasing youth. It's about nurturing resilient functional skin that thrives for decades through intentional lifestyle, powerful topical treatments, and strategic professional approaches, you can honestly really reshape how your skin ages. So this video isn't meant to discourage you or make you think like, oh my gosh, my skin's doomed to fail. It's really supposed to inspire you to let you know that there is so much you can do. Like I said, with extrinsic aging, that's 80% of what causes our aging. So we can make a big impact with lifestyle interventions, topical treatments, procedures on how wrinkles form on our face. And of course, you always want to consult a board certified dermatologist or plastic surgeon to tailor a plan that's uniquely for you. Your skin deserves that care. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please follow. Your support means so much to me to really get the word out. Not only am I trying to share skincare tips and skin health tips, but I also am really trying to go beyond skin deep and really look at what are the internal factors that we can do to address our overall skin health and our overall health, because ultimately that's what it's all about. Please share, like, and we will see you next time. Thanks, bye.